Hey folks, this is Steve with Nonprofit Ally and I want to welcome you to lesson one of how to build your nonprofit website in one day. So the goal here is to just do short 10 minute lessons and if you space them out throughout the day you'll be able to complete the entire website in one day. This first lesson is a pretty simple one. You're going to be setting up your hosting, you'll buy a domain if you need it, and we are going to install WordPress which is the platform you're going to be using to build your websites. Um, pay special attention or just go down to the uh, notes of this lesson. There is a coupon code there so if you want to get 25% um, off hosting with HostGator just uh, go to HostGator. There's a link down there and type in the coupon code Nonprofit Ally. You'll get 25% off of your purchase so uh, it's worth it to do that. Anyways I hope this lesson is helpful and let's get started. This is a, a pretty cool thing to be doing. Hey folks, all right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Now, in order to get a website um, built and live on the, the web, we have to start with getting our hosting, we have to get a domain, and for our purposes, we're gonna be installing WordPress, which is how we're gonna build our website. It's what we're using to build our website with. You, you can think of it like building a home. First, you need some land, and then you need uh, your address, and then you need your house, right? And so that's how it works. Your hosting is your land. It's your space that you're going to put your house on. Your domain is your address to where your house is located. And then your your actual house is going to be built with WordPress, which is um, the application we're going to use to build our website with. So to get started, you first have to just get hosting. And typically, hosting agencies out there, hosting companies, will do all of this. They will host it. They'll get you, you'll be able to buy your domain, and you'll be able to install WordPress. And I highly recommend finding one who does that. And I use HostGator to do that, and that's the one I'll be giving as an example here. Um, HostGator is a, a high-quality hosting app, uh, company. I've been using them for almost 10 years now. Actually, for 10 years for sure now. And, um, and I'll have links to them, so if you just want to follow along, look at the notes below this video, and you'll be able to see a link so you can follow along directly. I am an affiliate with them, and that doesn't mean you, you pay more at all. Actually, you'll end up probably paying less because they're always offering special deals, um, so I can actually pass those on to you to help you cut some of your initial costs. So this is the current HostGator page. It looks like this when we get started. And you'll see right away they have different ways of hosting. And we're just going to go with the, the easiest, most cheapest one, which is uh, totally uh, um, acceptable. It's actually a good, it's a good foundation for if you're just going to have one website. So go ahead and we're just going to say, uh, get started now here. We'll click on that. And then it'll actually give us our plan options. We're going to pick the Hatchling plan. I'm going to scroll down a little. So that's here, and it's advertised at five twenty-one a month. That's a current price. So this may change just depending on um, seasons, time of year, how, how long this video has been up. Um, in any case, we're going to say sign up now. And again, if you've clicked the uh, affiliate link for this video, then your cost may be completely different. You may get a one cent uh, first month install and all sorts of stuff. So there's some neat specials. Be sure to check that out. All right, so our initial con our initial thing here then, I'm not going to fill this out. I'm going to assume that you filled out plenty of forms online and you know how to do this. But you do if you um, want to get a domain. If you don't have a domain registered already, go ahead and start typing in some domains here. See if they're available. Um, this, this is specifically for nonprofits, so you want to be sure that you are a .org. And then if you already have a domain, you can just say, I already have my domain. And we'll in a later video, we'll talk about how to forward that domain so it points to your HostGator hosting. Um, select your plans down here, and you can just, it's a typical forum. You bill, you go in, and uh, you end up checking out. You'll go through the whole billing process, at which point um, you will have hosting and, if you selected, a domain with HostGator. At which point, check your inbox because you're going to get an email that has your cPanel login information. So that's where we're going to go ahead and we're going to install WordPress. So at this point, we have our hosting, we have our domain, so we have our land, and we have our address. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the foundation of our house built, and that is WordPress. So you're going to go to that cPanel link that they gave you, and it looks similar to this. And you go ahead and you log into your cPanel. 
And cPanel is a very common application. So even if you've chosen a different host like Bluehost uh, or some of the other ones that are out there, chances are you have a cPanel that looks similar to this. Now, at the bottom of the HostGator cPanel, you can see there's lots of different tools here. You're going to find the quick install. And that's this icon right here. So to install WordPress, you can do it. It's a real quick install. We're just going to click on this. And that is going to send us to the quick install page. We are going to be installing WordPress. So we're just going to scroll down and we're going to see WordPress down here. At There it is. The install WordPress. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So you click on there and it takes you to the uh, WordPress installation area. Now you have a couple options here. There's uh, the starter, the pro and the all in one, but there's also the free version. And that is the one that we're going to be doing. That's what this tutorial is about. It's about um, how to do all this yourself. So we're going to go ahead and install WordPress. Now we have to set this up. And so basically what you're doing is you're going to select your domain name that you want to uh, install your WordPress application to. And for us, it's going to be the nonprofitwebsite.com. If you have bought your domain with HostGator, your website should show up in this dropdown. If, you are, if, if your domain is with um, registered with someone outside of HostGator, then you'll have to do some additional steps for this quick install to work. So look down below on this lesson, you'll see there's another video, a supplementary video for directing um, your, your domain to HostGator as well as setting up HostGator as your host for an outside domain. It involves a couple steps and I'll show you how to do that. So in this case though, we're assuming that you bought it with HostGator, you pick that, you type in your admin email, and which is uh, your own email, and then your blog title, which would be the name of your website. And this is the nonprofit website. And your admin username, this will be used to log in to your website. And at this point, it's typically it's just admin, but you can make it what you like. And then your first and your last name. So there we go. We have, um, we are about to install WordPress onto our HostGator server. We are using the domain that we've purchased through HostGator or that we have set up in HostGator. And our our email is going to be there. This, is, this is, has to be a real email because they're gonna send you a whole bunch of information. And then there is uh, the blog title, my admin username, and of course, my name. And I'm going to head and install. We will skip the uh, advertisement. And it is installed. It tells you right here at the top that uh, your install is running and it is complete. So right away, don't lose this little bar up here. There's some credentials here. I want you to click on that. And you're gonna see here is your admin login area, your username and a, a password they've generated for you. Simply click and drag this and then copy it. And once you have it copied, just go ahead and put it somewhere safe so you don't lose it. Keep in mind, they will email all this information to you also, but uh, it's a good practice just to, uh, redundancy is a good thing. So just copy it and uh, put it somewhere safe. So now if you head to that admin area that they gave you the link to, you can check out the uh, your site. This will take you to the back end of your website where you'll be able to log in to your WordPress installation. And there you have it. We have installed WordPress. We have bought some server space and we have a domain name. So we have uh, our hosting, our domain name and our WordPress ready to install or already installed. And we are ready to move on to the next step, which is building the website. Until then, thanks.